Well, to understand severe weather, meteorologists like my friends Henry and Jacob here need to do some research. Jacob Morse is here for more on this in today's Morse Code of Weather. We're going to be talking about home construction research mm -hmm. this time in order to protect our homes and structures from severe weather. So in our severe weather series, we've talked about the warning process, how you can get those warnings, when severe weather is going to strike your area. But even before that, preparing your home or your business, any buildings for the forces of Mother, Mother Nature that, that she can bring with severe storms is really important. And there's a unique test facility research center in South Carolina called the Institute and the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety. And they do a lot of different, really interesting tests. We'll send it over to a meteorologist there to explain an overview of IBHS. So here at IBHS, we are a unique research facility that is able to uh, import full-scale structures into our test chamber and see how weather and wildfire impact the built environment. In our test chamber, we can test wind, uh, wind-driven rain, hail. We make our own hail here at the lab, and we can shoot that at cannons at a structure. We can also do that in our small hail lab as well and test things like shingles or other roofing materials, also siding materials. We're also checking those out as well. So a unique array of research that we use here um, over our more than a decade of research has really been used to uh, inform the insurance industry, um, and industries across the enterprise of weather, construction, engineering, all of those industries working together to ultimately make homes and businesses safer for people going forward. So at that test facility, they have 105 fans or turbines that can produce 120 plus mile per hour winds and they import these full scale structures into that chamber that they build on site. So the severe thunderstorms can pose a whole bunch of different hazards to our homes and buildings. They can bring high winds, they can bring hail, and a lot of these are being tested by the meteorologist at IBHS. Understanding risk um, for a homeowner or a business owner, uh, that's so uh, important when we're talking about the perils of Mother Nature. Uh, for thunderstorms, they bring uh, wind, wind-driven rain, and hail, all things that we research here. So understanding the mitigations that can help protect you and your family from damage, that's really what we want to look at. In regards to thunderstorms, they can produce damaging winds. Uh, we've identified one of the most vulnerable openings in your home is the garage door. It's the largest opening, so if that fails, what happens is if that is not a wind-rated garage door, which unfortunately most are not that are currently installed in the U.S., those doors can fail. And when they fail, the wind can get into the home, pushing out on the walls and pushing up on your roof. That then allows those forces inside your home to work with the wind on the outside. It's actually trying to pull the walls out and pull the roof up. So when the wind gets in, it just adds to that. And when that happens, you can have more significant structural failures, things like partial roof deck loss or potentially all of your roof could be torn off. We have seen that here in our facility. Um, it's going to find that weakest point in, and then it's also going to find the next weakest point out. And when you've, once you've lost your roof, then the rest of the home is uh, much more at risk to, to damage as the walls now don't really have that support. In the way of hail, hail can really make an impact, so to speak, right? Um, that can dent our shingles, tear them, that can reduce the performance, that can allow water to get into, um, into our attics there and cause uh, costly water claims as well. A sealed roof deck is critical because when your roof cover uh, potentially is blown off by strong winds, those seams there, those can let water into the home. So that sealed roof deck is going to provide um, some sort of a, um, a tape that's going to fit over those seams or potentially a peel and stick underlayment. That's another option. But what we want to do with that is keep the water out so that uh, potentially a roof claim doesn't become an additional uh, costly claim there as you're having to consider water. And so it's all about understanding the performance of various materials under the conditions that we can simulate and helps us to better understand what what we really can't expect. Is there such a thing as a 20, 30 year warranty on my asphalt shingle roof? Um, these are the critical questions that we can answer here at our facility. So all these different research tests that they do really inform the construction industry when they're building new homes and inform the officials that create building codes so that our homes can be safer in the future. Many people might be surprised to hear that not every state in the United States has a mandated statewide building code. North Dakota is a state that um, does have a statewide code. Unfortunately, it is not well enforced. And so um, code adoption is important 
and code enforcement is even more so important, right? Because if you have a great code in place, but you're not enforcing it properly, then we're really not maximizing the benefits of that. So um, we are very focused on supporting uh, modern building code adoption across the U.S. so that more families can have access to, uh, to safer structures. And our Fortified program is one great way to do that. That offers you a retrofit option in the way of Fortified Roof and installing those opening protections like installing a wind rated garage door, potentially impact rated windows and that kind of thing. So that's a great way to retrofit your home and trying to protect your home even if your local codes might not be to the level that you would want them to be. So a lot of groundbreaking research at IBHS to inform the general public and those elected officials that are making decisions about our building codes. But as homeowners, what is the message that IBHS wants you to take home? Well, we are very focused on consumer education, education for insurers, education for builders, engineers, all of these organizations and groups, officials, we all work together to try and make our communities more resilient. So making people aware that there are things that you can do to protect your home. Uh, you don't have to rely on somebody else to make a decision for you about your building code for the next generation of homes that are going to be built. Building codes are great, but um, unless you're building a new home, it's going to take some time to be able to make a, a meaningful difference and potentially a generation of, of homes and businesses being constructed to those new co codes um, before that has really seen the benefits. So that's why retrofits are very important because that can give you the best chance now. But education and awareness as to what's available and what's possible are so important and also letting people know that it doesn't have to be a concrete fortress to be able to withstand the forces of mother nature. There are accessible resources that you have. So a lot of unique research being done in South Carolina there at the IBHS facility. You can find out more information at IBHS.org. But it's one of those things you don't think of until the severe storm strikes your home and you could lose everything. So yeah. making yeah. sure that it's safe and fortified from those strong winds, from the hail that can do a lot of damage to your roof is really important ahead of the storm. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks, Jacob. You're welcome.